This video covers how to use the clone feature in the Sapphire web applications to study design options. It applies to both Sapphire architecture and Sapphire systems. Sapphire is designed for early stage analysis, and early analysis is all about comparisons, being able to understand which options are best or which strategies have the best impact. Therefore, one of the central features of the web applications is the comparison grid, which you can see at the top of the screen here. Here you can copy a design option, change the inputs, and quickly create comparisons. Here you can see I have set up a comparison of a few different HVAC system types, but you can use the same feature to study different energy conservation measures or different massing options. Let's say we want to create a new clone in order to study improved glazing properties. So in order to create a copy or a clone, you can click the clone icon on any of the rows. You can see it here in the top row that's highlighted or uh, to the left of the massing image in any of the other rows. You can also click this button at the bottom in order to copy whichever concept is active at the time. So let me go ahead and copy the baseline concept. And now I'm going to click on that new clone that I made in order to edit the inputs. Whatever option is highlighted in the concept comparison above, those are the inputs and the outputs that you will be able to see in the interface below. So I will click that copy and then we'll come over here and adjust the glazing properties of this new option that we made. Let's go ahead and reduce the U factor for the glass and let's also bring the solar heat gain coefficient down. Now you can see as I make these changes, the results in the result grid automatically gray out to indicate that um, the results need to be updated. Let's also go ahead and click the name of this and rename it so that we remember what this concept is all about. I'll call this improved glazing. And let's go ahead and update the simulation. So you can use that same uh, method to compare any changes in inputs, uh, not just envelope changes, but also shading elements, uh, any HVAC options if you have Sapphire systems, um, adding solar panels uh, to a building, etc. You can also use the clone feature and the comparison grid to compare different massing options. So let's make a new copy of the baseline concept and we'll take a look at how we can swap out the building geometry for an alternative version. So I'll go ahead and create another clone. And I'm going to go ahead and move this up to the top. You can see that just by dragging and dropping it can reorder any of these design concepts. And the use case for this is in early design if you're looking at different massing options or you're making a change to the geometry, you can simply swap out the old geometry for the new geometry and keep everything else uh, essentially the same. All of the settings and all of the space uses that you've set up will remain the same and only the geometry will be changed out. The way to do that is to click on the massing image. You can see when I hover over there's a change uh, icon that appears. And if I click that icon, a massing library will appear. And this is a library that contains geometry that I have uploaded for other projects and it also contains some default geometry. Um, if you select any massing, you will be able to see a preview of that uh, on the panel on the right. And you simply select the geometry that you would like to use and click Use Selected Massing. And the geometry now is swapped out for the new geometry and of course I need to rerun the simulation uh, to see the new results. A couple final things to note about clones. Obviously you can delete old versions that you don't want by clicking the trash can icon. And you can also export the IDF file for any clone. That's the Energy Plus input file and you would want that if you want to take it into another Energy Plus software or look at some of the specific inputs that you may not be able to see in the Sapphire interface. So that's how you can create clones and use them to study different massings or design options, different HVAC system options, and different types of energy conservation measures.